You know, one of the greatest strengths of the Bible for its actual validity of being an integrous document is that it shows its heroes at its lowest moments. In chapter 20 of the book of Jeremiah, we see a very raw Jeremiah. He's complaining. He's downtrodden. He's a little depressed. But then in verse 11, something happens. Let me read it to you. But the Lord stands beside me like a great warrior. Before him, my persecutors will stumble. They cannot defeat me. They will fall and be thoroughly humiliated. Their dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of heaven's armies, you test those who are righteous and you examine the deepest thoughts and secrets. Let me see your vengeance against them for I have committed my cause to you. And listen to what he says in verse 13. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For though I was poor and needy, he rescued me from my oppressors. You know, one pastor once encouraged me with this very simple statement. Neil, if you'll get real with God, God will get real with you. And the thing I love about Jeremiah is he doesn't hold back. He's like David of the Psalms, where David would just kind of like emotionally let go of everything that was in his heart before the Lord. And I love that he would write it. You know, writing is just simply thinking clearly. And sometimes it's very therapeutic to write out your thoughts. It's how we kind of got some of the books of poetry in the Bible. But here in Jeremiah, He's downtrodden, he's depressed. So what does he do? Does he stay there? No, he reminds himself of truth. Our God, he's like a warrior. He fights for me. And what does that do for Jeremiah? It takes this weeping prophet and turns him into the singing prophet. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for though I was poor and needy, he rescued me. And I wanna encourage you today. You know, you're shaped by the stories you believe. Today, tell yourself the right stories up here believe the truth of God's word and allow the truth of God's word to shape your attitude and your choices today. Sing to the Lord, throw on some Phil Wickham or worship songs or whatever you need to do, but to set yourself in the right space, sometimes you need to teach yourself and tell yourself the truth. And the truth is God is mighty. God is on your side. He loves you. He cares for you. He can fight your battles for you. So, Trust him. And today, walk in joy. Why should I? Let me share one last truth with you. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. So let's rejoice and be glad in it.